around the whole world In my hands, in my team By my side with the whole world In my plans, I'm a see What's up guys and welcome to the new series in which we will be pushing through champions in YouTube All-Stars. So we're going to start this series and this episode off very strong by this raid on this near max base. Now this guy, he did not have max Teslas and obviously his walls weren't all level 11, but everything else was maxed. Everything that would have affected a balloon and minion raid besides the Teslas were maxed. So now what I did to, and I know that I'm not in champions in this raid, but I mean, this, this is pretty much a champs raid. I mean, come on now. It's like a max base. So what I did here, basically, as you can see, is the top left and top right compartments. I cleared out with a, with a good amount of loons on each side with rage spells. And then I left some buildings kind of on the top to uh, just to, you know, so my loons would go to those buildings on the top and then straight towards the middle. Then I put in a ton of loons and then um, I, I raged the loons in the middle. But unfortunately, the other ones went around the right side and then minions in behind. I didn't put all my minions in. This is kind of how you two star the Town Hall 10. You want to clear a way to the Town Hall and then you want to use minions. So then I saved a ton of minions as you can see and I put them all in here along with Clan Castle minions and then I put a Rage Spell down in the middle. Oh, I didn't put a Rage Spell. Just kidding. I already used the Rage Spell on the loons. That was kind of a waste. If I did have a Rage Spell, I definitely would have put it down in the middle there. And uh, very fortunately, that queen was like just out of range of these minions because if she would have shot at him, it would have distracted all of them, as as you see right here. Oof. She almost shot. She was she was about to shoot, and then uh, there she goes taking out my minions. But they did take out the town hall, and I figured, you know what, you know, I might as well just grab some extra loot because I think it was this was like the last raid of the night for me, so I was gonna go offline after this. So put my king on the left side, and my queen on the right side, and just kind of let them soak up. Uh, as much gold and dark elixir as, as they could get. And yeah, this was an awesome raid. So now I do want to apologize for not posting over the past, what, like, since the, my last post was up Thursday. Um, I did have to buy um, two shields this weekend. I actually bought one on Thursday, and I bought one on Friday um, because I was gone all weekend long. So I apologize for not posting. And that was an awesome 330k gold and then the 16 cups, and I had to post it on Twitter. Um, but yeah, I do apologize for not uploading, but I'm going to get back to my daily regular schedule. So, uh... So yeah, I just wanted to make that announcement, and I just wanted to say I'm sorry. So now with this base, as you can see, uh, the, I am in champs this time, as is this guy. And um, he's got max defenses for Town Hall 10, uh, defensive buildings, should I say. Uh, his walls are obviously very low level. Well, he's got some 7s, a little bit of 8s, some 9s in there. But uh, generally, he's got level 7 walls. So now what I did with this base, now this is a very, very common base up in champions. I'm noticing like a lot. So what I did is that I put... Um, I used all of my loons here. I put, like, I think five loons per defense right there and then the rage spell so that they basically would funnel in a way that they would, you know, two groups of loons would just kind of go straight uh, and take out all those defenses. Now, I didn't put all the loons in, the, in one spot. Like, I didn't put two lines of ten because of... Uh, I just wanted to take out more defenses quicker and I wanted to get those... Um, the uh, wizard towers out of the way because those would have just melted my loons and minions. So as you can see, all the buildings on that bottom side are totally gone. So then I put in a rage spell with uh, all those loons and minions in the middle. King and queen and clan council troops were not even necessary, but I decided to use them anyways. And um, just a really, really easy two-star. Uh, two-starring in champs with Tunnel 9 is not that difficult. It's, it's definitely a challenge, but it's not that hard uh, if you know how to do it right. So that was a nice 19 cups there. And um, this next raid is going to be a live raid. And um, this will be an exciting one. Okay, so... Oh, it's not a live raid. I'm just kidding. Oh, I forgot. There's four raids in this video. Haha, -ha, it's a little bit longer today. I forgot. I'm sorry. So now this is another very, very popular base, and I have tried to two-star this multiple times on higher level bases with multi-target infernos, and it just has not worked. So this is I only two-starred this mainly just because it was a very, very low level base, but what I did is I took out those archer towers on the right side and left side. That's basically fundamental rating for this base every time, and I took out the archer tower on the top, which is, you know, you always want to take out those archer towers on the sides and the top whenever attacking this base, either trying to get the one star or the two star. So I'm going to put in some minions along the sides just to kind of clear up the building so that once I do uh, my full attack, there will be no buildings in the way of um, of the minions going in towards the middle. So I did lure out the clan castle troops on the bottom, and I'm just going to bring them to the top left, uh, put a couple minions to both distract them and keep them in one spot, and then I'm going to lighten them and take them out. As you can see, he's got a couple wizards, a couple archers. So I did put in a couple minions there just so that, you know, I didn't want the clan castle troops to kill all my minions and then just run away and, like, the lightning spell totally misses. But um, I put up a couple more minions over there, taking out those troops, and uh, shout out to Steven, by the way. And I'm about to attack. Oh, wait, no, I'm going to put a mini at the top here just to get rid of that elixir pump. Uh, so basically, this is a very, very easy base to attack. And um, the idea is is you want to put in uh, 
four groups of loons. You want to have rage spells. You'll see me do it. I'll, I put in two rage spells on those wizard towers, and then I put a clump of loon on, loons on each, and then I'll put in some loons behind. Now, the reason why I did that is because I didn't want all of like all of my loons getting affected by that splash damage. Because um, the loons that went in first, the wizard towers and air bombs really messed them up. So I decided to put in another group of loons behind them. And now, as you can see, there were wall breakers inside of my clan castle. Now, usually when doing balloons and minions, that's extremely horrible. And those were donated by J-Rod. Shout out to J-Rod, by the way. Um, but actually, it helped a lot in this raid because they helped get through the wall for my heroes. And my heroes are what really clutched this raid. Um, so I already got the 50%. Troops are in the middle. As you can see, I did put a rage spell down in the middle for my minions to soak it up. They're going to take out that town hall along with the queen. And then basically, there's there's really nothing left in this raid. I'm not going to get with a hundo. So I decided to end it. Getting a 12 cup raid there, which was awesome. Uh, decent amount of loot, almost 200k gold. And yeah, that was a nice little two star. So now this is going to be a two star raid in champs as well. But it's going to be a special two star for two reasons the first reason being this is a champion two star it was a very very lucky find second reason being uh this is what got me to champs so as you can see i put in two loons i put in three loons at the bottom there actually just to get both the clan castle troops out and take that archer tower down and once those are out of the way i'm going to lure the minions up to the top of the base with the minions that are on the town hall and then i will lightning spell them the only thing about maxed uh max minions and not max lightning spell is that it won't kill any of them. It'll just take them down to, like, really, really low health, and then you're going to have to use, like, 20 minions to take them out, which is a pain in the ass, which is why for a Town Hall 9, a clan castle full of max minions is not your friend. So I put a rage spell down there just because there were a lot of defenses, and I dropped a couple of loons. As on the left side, as you can see, I, I use rage spells in, like, large clumps of defenses, as you can see, is what I exactly did there. And then I went more for the arch towers than anything on this, and, you know, they, they took them out, which was great. And then, um, basically, there was just, like, a couple more, uh, uh, de or, yeah, there was a couple more defenses guarding air on the bottom. So I put in the Rage Spell, because I only had two loons on that side, so I decided just to, you know, reinforce it with the Rage Spell. And I put in three loons on that left side to take out that Archer Tower, which they didn't do, but it's okay, because I still got the percentage. And then, uh, I'm putting some minions behind. So, as you can see, up to 40% here, 42, 43, so... I'm going to have to use uh, both my clan castle and my heroes on this raid to get the 50, but that's okay because, you know, it's still 50%. And um, I decided to put it on the right side just to soak up a little bit of extra loot. I mean, I, I definitely could have put that in a better spot to get more percentage, but I kind of wanted a little bit more loot. And um, that got a good, like, 4% there, so I, I didn't really even need my heroes. I probably could have used my heroes instead of my clan castle. Um, but, um, oh, okay, I guess I did need the hero. So I decided just to take out that mortar just for the stats because, you know, there are statistics for taking out mortars there's a challenge so got that barely got any loot but uh got a good 15 cup two star and uh i did hit champ so we're gonna return home here and uh boom champions we're back up at champions actually right now as this is recording i'm at like 3385 so this was recorded a long long time not a long time ago a couple days ago uh just i did not have time to upload it so uh yeah i did hit champions so we're back up in champions, guys. How far I'm going to go, I have no idea. No, hold on now. Watch this. I request for minions and loons, right? Shout out to J-Rod, by the way, who gave me fucking wall breakers. You'll see in a minute. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm going to be like, say hi to YouTube. And then it's going to be like, you've did, or received wall breakers from J-Rod. Watch. Ready? There they are. Level 6 wall breakers from J-Rod, 12399. And then, um, yeah, that was, that was pretty funny, though. I, I, th I thought it was pretty funny. And actually, they helped me. Um, the raid after I recorded this was the one raid that you saw with that I got the two star with um, the wall breakers in the clan castle. So um, shout out to J Rod. It actually did help me. Um, but uh, yeah, so J Rod donates wall breakers, everybody. So just watch out when you're in a clan with them. But um, but yeah, back up with champs. Uh, I'm not really sure how high I want to go this push. Um, I'm definitely not going to stay in the 3200s and farm like I said I would. I'm probably going to start pushing up higher. Um, I'm really shooting more towards 3600. Um, and I might, I might go higher. We'll see. But you know, like what you know, what a lot of people have been saying, like the clouds are just really bad lower, and it's really hard to find bases, like like in the 33, 3400s. That's true. It's taking me a long time to get one to 3400 cups, and it's taking me a while to get past that. It's like it's really hard. The matchmaking is really, really messed up right now. But we'll see how high I can go and how quick I can up can get up there. So uh, today's goal is going to be like 3450 or 3500, something like that. So. I'm just going to play six hours today, and then that'll be it. But yeah, boom, back up at Champions, guys. I'm excited. I don't know how you guys are. I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I'm pretty excited. And we did do a clan war, and I barely got in my uh, attacks, and one of them was freaking clutch as shit. 
And um, so I will put up a YouTube All-Stars Clan War video, and um, I will include some raids from some of the YouTubers. So I will I will do that. That will be tomorrow's video, I think. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. So that's that's what I'm uploading tomorrow. Um, so now we're going to go watch uh, Brian, a.k.a. BJ Can Dives Raid here, um, titled J-Rod Loves Cock. True fact, Jared does love cock. That's why we call him Gay Rod, because he's a beast. All right, so now he's going to be going at this base with either Go Wee Wee or Go Wee. I'm not pretty sure. We're going to put it in four times because, one, I can talk that fast. Two, I'm sick. And three, you know, we just need to go fast. So basically, he's going to do a one, two, three spread with Go Wee Wee. And he's going to get himself right in the middle using free spells, raid spells. Totally going beast mode. He destroyed this base, actually. This is like a max defense's base. So 53% plus seven. Awesome job, Brian. That was actually a really good raid, so... Uh, yeah, I just I just want to give a shout out to J Rod one two three the nine for uh, for those wall breakers. I don't know. I just I really feel like you know he he not he didn't donate that because he hates me. He donated that because he loves me. Oh, by the way, Drew, the other guy who was defending, he was just in our clan, and um, Merritt raided him, which was kind of funny because Drew had just hit champs and then he sniped him. But yeah, so enough enough with all this random. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I sound like shit. I'm really really sick right now. I got a cold. And I was out all weekend, so I just, I'm really tired. <laughs> but uh, I do apologize if I, if I sound tired or cold or stuttery, because I am all three. And puberty just hit me. Oh, no. All right, I don't know. I'm, I'm really tired. I slept for one hour two nights ago. And then last night, I fell asleep at three and woke up at, like, nine. So I'm, I'm really tired. But, um, yeah, so shout out to YouTube All-Stars. And I hope you guys are excited for this new series. Hope you guys are excited for the Clan Wars. I'm going to end it here. Love you guys, and um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. No, so all the pretty girls in class still, they never reply, but never say never. They never get caught on my mind. I'm trying to get better and grind. Measure my effort and skill gets better in time. Fresher than ever, and I am who I am. No taking it back, I'm alive and well. Well, what to do? My name is unimportant, but what I say is quite amazing. I hope you enjoy it. I put my soul into this shit every time I'm recording.